to give the floor to the main executive. And we have a lot uh, uh, of matters to discuss, uh, and we must do it to make our economies um, more efficient. Uh, uh, there are several mechanisms. For example, my experience uh, showed uh, uh, I'd like to... Russian investments have, in fact, grown and uh, now amount to about 6.5 billion. Uh, so there is some kind of investment parity between the two countries. We are interested in stepping up our investment cooperation. We are interested in direct U.S. investment in order to diversify our economy and the Russian government is putting in place systemic efforts to improve the investment environment. We have identified certain areas of thrust which we are pursuing, and we have very specific plans for the year 2010, and those areas of thrust refer to the improvement of the migration formats. A law has been signed by the president which simplifies procedures that are invoked when you want a useful specialist to work in your country and make companies that have been using migrant labor will find it easier to live now. Secondly, the deadlines for investment projects have been shortened considerably for the approval process for the regulatory process in terms of approvals for land, for power hookups, for licenses, permits, etc. And uh, we have taken a number of measures to simplify such procedures. Also, we're giving a lot of attention to the simplification of the tax and customs procedures and uh, working hand in hand with the Russian business through its organizations and our initiatives are being supported by the American Chamber of Trade in Russia because we do need to take into account the real needs of foreign investor. <coughs> the Council on Foreign Investment has been in operation for over 15 years with considerable uh, participation of our U.S. colleagues. In 2009, we have decided to improve operation in that work will be more specific, down to earth, with respect to very specific companies, and we work together on that, involving all the government agencies that are relevant. And secondly, we need to identify promising areas in which foreign investment could be involved, and we're talking energy efficiency here and the removal of barriers in customs and tax law. And in these two areas, working together with foreign investors, we would like to move ahead by really addressing the situation and offering specific projects related thereto. And so doing, as Mr. Summers said, we need to identify key areas and projects within those key areas. We have identified such areas, and by no means this is not a closed list. This is not a short list. Uh, there are five presidential priorities where particular support will be provided. We are talking work on specific projects, and the operational pattern has already been tried and in the Russian-American cooperation. We need to identify projects that would be of mutual interest and that could qualify as related to modernization and innovation. Also, we have close contacts at the intergovernment level. A task force has been established to look into the promotion of trade and economic relations as part of the bilateral presidential question. That task force is seen by us as a potential generator of ideas.
taking into account the interests of business. With Gary Locke, we enjoy the better relationships uh, with his team as well, and since the previous forum, we have managed to improve the quality of dialogue. I remember at the previous forum, the refrain was that the intensity of official dialogue on trade and economy is lagging behind considerably uh, the accomplishments of the interbusiness relations of B2B. We are bridging that gap at this point. We have a plan for that uh, task force which addresses all the priorities that have been emphasized by business. What is important to do today is implement it into give it a practical dimension. I would like to to say that we also need to have more contacts and channels for communication among small and medium-sized business. We also need to cooperate on anti-monopoly action. We have to act together in the area of supporting investment, and our respective ministries need to act as point of contact, as ombudsman for the investors from both countries. So if U.S. companies have problems, those investors can turn to our ministry, and if Russian investors have problems in the United States, they can or should be able to turn to the Department of Trade. The mechanism that I am trying to promote will be very useful for potential investors. As part of the tax force activities, we will be discussing topical issues related to restrictions that apply to the market and what to do about them, and that there are certain restrictions with respect to a number of Russian companies. And uh, we will be hearing with more attention the U.S. concern about lowering tariffs. One of the areas of thrust is the creation of legal environment to support uh, cooperation. And we're hearing from representatives of the business community that that such legal framework is in need of improvement because uh, our contractual relations were first established a few years or even 10 years ago and uh, we would like to have the interests of business central to us and the basic standards of protection for investment should be provided uh, and additional measures are needed to ensure unrestricted professional activities and it is not quite normal in relations between the two countries that there is no legal framework to protect our relative uh, uh, relevant investments. Uh, we do have different systems, but that's no reason for us to shirk our responsibility for addressing it in a pragmatic way so that there is, in fact, a uh, legal framework to protect our mutual investments. Naturally, we do work together in multilateral settings such as the uh, JA, G20, and uh, the Asian Pacific economic cooperation is of relevance, and I cannot avoid the WTO issue. It's, a, it's become a tradition to discuss that subject. And once again, I will repeat here that this is a priority for our foreign economic policy. For some time, there were uh, certain stoppages of that process because everyone needed to put together a new format, particularly because the customs, because of the customs union situation. And uh, I would like to call on you to understand that the creation of the customs union, tripartite customs uh, union, should not be viewed as an alternative to Russia's integration into world economy. The customs union does create additional benefits for 
foreign investments for American companies. It spells out entry into larger markets and on more liberal terms and conditions. Therefore, there shouldn't be any concerns and we should use the advantages that are being created by that market. I think I have exhausted my time limit. I would be able to say a few more things, but I'd rather listen to what representatives of our companies have to say in order to support the business projects and both trade and investment that are beginning to crop up. Uh, uh, thank you.